Do you like throwing money away? Yeah, me neither. Less money to Uncle Sam means more money for you to invest or to go on a nice vacation. Hi, if you're new to the channel, my name is Charlie Vinci. I'm a local realtor and I help people like you move to the area. When I'm at an open house, one of the conversations I often find myself having with buyers is around the topic of taxes. I want to stop here and say I'm not a tax advisor. I'm a real estate agent. However, there are a few ways to reduce your taxes by moving to Connecticut when compared to New York. I want to take a second to point out that at the time of this filming, Connecticut does not have a mansion tax. However, one is being considered. If it does pass, it looks like it's only going to amount to a few hundred dollars for every million dollars worth of home value. It's also worth pointing out that the current governor does not support this tax. Keep an eye out for a future video if the mansion tax does pass here in Connecticut. New York, on the other hand, does have a mansion tax. You're looking at a 1% tax on sales over 1 million, and if you're buying in New York City, the tax gradually climbs to 3.9%. You can see how this is gonna quickly add up to tens of thousands of dollars. If you like this video so far, do us a favor and subscribe. We are constantly making new content on the area. The second way you can save is by reducing your property taxes. Most people find that compared to New York, they get more home for the money in Connecticut, plus lower property taxes. The towns of Greenwich, Darien, New Canaan, and Westport have some of the lowest property taxes in the state, along with highly rated schools, low crime ratings, quick, easy access to Manhattan, and top-notch restaurants and shopping. Also, if you haven't grabbed our buyer's guide yet, it answers the most common questions I get asked. I'll leave a link in the description below to our buyer's guide as well. Another way you can save by moving to Connecticut is to reduce your federal taxes. Currently, you can only write off $10,000 of your state paid property tax on your federal return. By reducing your property tax, you're avoiding double taxation on at least part of your income. And finally, you'll save when you buy things in Connecticut because the sales tax is 2% less than New York. If you're ready to find a great home in Fairfield County, Connecticut, reach out to me or grab our buyer's guide. The link is in the description down below. As always, check with your tax advisor before making any decisions. We hope you enjoyed the video.